So early. Keep animals from getting out or whatever. Don't know. Don't look at me. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> anyway, I knew that River liked um, tractors and yeah. stuff, so I just kind of. Yeah. My brother is 10 years older than I am and a very soft heart anyway. He wanted to make this. That's so neat. For the deal. But anyway, I just figured you had somewhere outside that you could just put yeah. it up, you know, yeah, we sure wherever. Do. I got yeah. just a spot. Everybody want to hold it? To be there yeah. Paul! Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Y'all get your boots on. We're going to get some honey. Don't get stung. <laughs> All right, what's up? Welcome to the Smiths. This is a fun day. Something we've been waiting to do for a long time. We're gonna pick honey. Yeah, it's time to get honey. We've waited for so long. We have. Uh, we've prepped. We moved to this house. We moved the bees with us, and uh, we've been waiting for a cool fall day when I'm home. That's still above 70 degrees where the bees are still flying. Um, we're gonna grab some honey from them. Um, I hope we're gonna... the queen bee doesn't get mad. Yeah, yeah, I hope the queen bee doesn't get mad. Uh, we are gonna borrow some honey. We're gonna return their frames back to them. And then we're gonna they're gonna have it. plenty for, will for winter time. And we're gonna eat it and they're gonna eat it and everyone's gonna be happy. London, are I you am. gonna try the honey? I am. I we am. got Polly with us today. Yeah. He's gonna... Uh, He's gonna run the Gypsy, camera. Here. Oh, uh -oh. Gypsy, get, Gypsy, get hey, in the Gypsy, house. what are you doing? Gypsy, Gypsy get back. You are all ready to go. I'm ready. I was gonna light the four. I gotta get that going. What does that do again? This is how we're gonna smoke them, which is basically just kind of disorients them. Uh, it takes their aggression down. So when we're, when we're in the hive and getting stuff out, they're not too wild and crazy. Smoke's coming badly out. They haven't been very active the last few days. They've all been inside or out. All the whole. <laughs> Good, maybe they're eating all the scorpions. Daddy's gonna get the, he's gonna get the bees out. And he's gonna get all the honey to get, and put it in the bucket and he's gonna eat it. Oh, you did one! You did it! We're getting started. I got a camera on my chest. I got a motion lapse camera going so we could have that. I've got our, got our fire. Wind's blowing this way, so I'm just going to kind of sit here for now. Um, and then I am going to. So the plan is, babe, I'm going to get into this hive. Yep. And I'm going to pick our best frames that are completely capped, ready to go. And we're going to put them in here. Mm -hmm. We're going to take them inside for harvesting. Then I'm going to make sure the overall health of the bees look good. And uh, um, I'm not going to take any ones that aren't completely, totally capped. And, and then they're going to have all of this right here is for them, by the way. They'll keep all those frames. That's their brood box for the winter, no matter what. And they're probably going to keep most of that. And I'm going to take this. At least that's the plan. Let's see when we get into it. Here we go. Okay, this is the first little, first layer. A couple, couple bees in here. And this is be the first little, hit them with just a little, little juice right there. I'm going to hit their entrance here. Okay, so this box, I'm not gonna touch at all. Okay. So I'm gonna put it right here on the ground. Oh, I smell it. Go crazy. I'll get the stick in case they run towards us and then I'll whack them. I'm getting the bark off the tree. There you go, boys. Mama, what is around you? First I know, baby. Coming out. Okay, so. Beautiful, yeah, totally cool. beautiful. So I'm gonna take it, do a quick whack, whack, whack. And you're gonna kind of brush. Oh, and the first one in there, hold on. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, get out, B. <laughs> ah, get out of there. It's okay, baby. Well, I don't wanna, okay. 
Yeah, brush. Okay, sir. And cool. there's one bee right there. Okay. And close them up. Cool. One. This, so this is not ready, this is not capped yet. They're still working on this one, so I'm gonna leave this for the girls to continue working. Are you scared for sissy? No. Well, she's in a bad spot. She's up on the tree. Get off the tree! That's a bad spot. There's something in there. There's something in that tree pole. <coughs> so just fighting. Or going back to my tree. Don't get too close, baby. I think this is a heavy one. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Watch out, <Paul. laughs> Oh, man. oh they mad. Okay. They, they mad. mad. <laughs> Are we done? Yep. Oh, I'm coming to the other side. Oh my gosh, this is really heavy. How many is that? I don't know. It's like, I think that's nine, but it's. Well, at least we got the whole bucket filled up. Seven, eight, nine. Grab one more? Sure. Or is that good? I, mean, I think that's probably good, right? Ten or nine is good? A bee's in there! What? A bee's inside? Okay, we'll get it. Let's just do one more while we're here. Okay. Okay, we got ten frames that are in there. Um, everything looks good. The bees got a little mad, but not too mad. Dogs are mad. Kids are mad. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get this in the house and get us some honey. And then I'm going to take the frames that we, uh, the ones we get the honey from, I'll bring them back, put them in this, put it on top. They, the bees will clean it all up. They'll get back to work. And it's like we never came, except for we have a whole bunch of yee yee honey. Just peel a little bit back and look at that. Oh, wait, what? Touch it and lick it. Mm, oh my gosh, that's sweet. <laughs> they make really good honey for us. They I do. want this, and I want Daddy to scrape. Yeah, it's gonna be so satisfying. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I get to put my whole hand in there and lick it. <laughs> Let's take it in the kitchen and get it out. Yeah! Yeah, but first I made a spoon for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who's gonna I'm help me lick this? Knife. Who's gonna help me? Because it's oh, like me, 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 me. I'll help you. Oh. Feel how much no, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Here, both. Pick a side. Right, right here. Okay, Lincoln, you got strong muscles. You ready? Y'all got it? Oh, it smells so good. Good job. Wait, could, you, could I get up? We have, to, we have to make the knife hot. It went hot. So it can slice it real easily. Here, you're gonna make it hot? Okay. Hold it under the hot water. Yeah, that's really hot water. Well, could I get up there because I'm gonna do it? You're gonna do it? Yeah, I'm gonna do it for you guys. This is coming right over here. Because when we finish with the frame, this is where it goes. I'm so excited. You guys are little beekeepers. Mm -hmm. We'll put this right here. This is one of that. No, you hold the top like that so it doesn't fall over. Don't let it fall over, okay? I'm gonna take this hot knife. Oh, I see the honey. Oh. oh. Look at that. Is that satisfying? Yes. All the honey is coming out. Yeah, it's like a dripping. Oh, look at all the honey. They're small, but I'm still bigger. Okay. 
I need some. I need some. I got my glove and thing. Okay. Do you have your little pepper? This is ready. I'm gonna put it in the. Drip it all over the floor. Okay, we're gonna stick it. You got it? Let's stick it You're right in honey. there. You no, that's okay. in there? We're gonna keep every bait. Everything can fall off the right Just like that. And then are we just gonna spin? How do you get it off? Not yet. Mm -hmm. It's sort of like bragging, but. Careful. Just don't go too far that way. You wanna go down and not in. And then I'm gonna roll it. Okay, we're gonna do one more and then we'll roll it. Okay. We're gonna be sticky everywhere, aren't we? Ready for the next one? So these are the ones that were left long, way longer than this. This was made from this property. Yes, this was made from. The other ones are made from Young Ranch. There's this, it's just oh, different, look, different colors. I know, and when it spins, it's gonna all drip down there. Ready, buddy? Go for it. Here, I'm gonna go. Is it still there? That's a good speed. That's a good speed. You don't have to go, you don't have to go any faster than that. That's perfect. Smells good. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a look at one. No, there's still a ton of honey. No, look at it. It's pretty, it's pretty spun out. What? Well, that one's not. Oh, so flip it around maybe. Turn it around. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Side. Good idea. This side's good too, on that side. Yeah, flip it around and then the other side will come Yeah, because look. Mm. <laughs> How did we not even know? It's mommy. I mommy try is so. Aww. Yeah, I'm smart. Uh, I'm learning. Can I do it? Mrs. Mm. You guys are both gonna have your chances. Okay. No. Hang on, hang on. You have to put glove on. You like what? You have to put a glove on. Yes, I have gloves on. I know, but you have to put a glove on. No, that's not the right way. It is not. No. It's the other way. It's the other way. Still turning it. I know. We're gonna give those back to the bees. Do a little switch. Yeah, those are going back to the bees. Yeah. These right here going back to the bees. Cause they could they could clean them up. Oh yeah, they go back to the bees. Where's all the honey? We're gonna take it. Eat it. Wait, stop, stop spinning it, baby. Go back. Go back. Go back. Please. Let me go back the way you had it. Twist no, it other ready. way, other way. Oh. Yeah, wait, stop. Put some We're in my jaw. Open hole. There you go. Put some in my jaw. Okay, I'm gonna get this. Put some in my jaw. It's not ready yet. Put some in my jaw. It's not ready yet, baby. Here, give me your jar. Please, give me your jar. Don't do it with your dirty hands. Oh, I'm wearing a glove. Let me see your jar. Okay. I don't like that. You're honey. putting honey in it? No, I don't like that honey. Oh, you like the you like the really sweet honey? I like honey? that one. Okay, I'll change it. I'll change it. That could be Paul's. <laughs> that could be Paul's honey. Okay. Hold on, we gotta fill it up. That could I be Paul's. Paul, do you like that honey? I do. Look at that cute little honey jar. That could be for you. Thank you. I want that honey. Paul. Thank you, buddy. Paul, but I want that honey. Oh. I'm just gonna. So I saw a guy on YouTube. Yeah. He, well, we drain it first, and once it's drained, he put it in a a, a paper milk carton. Milk carton, yeah. And cooked it in the oven. There it goes. What's up guys? All right, this is day two of the honey harvest. And I wanna show you, we kind of got everything really cleaned up. The kitchen is kind of back to normal. Still need to clean this, but everything else is in the garage. And I'm down to this one bucket. And that's a five gallon bucket, about halfway full of honey. So you could say about two and a half gallons from 10 frames of honey. Um, the 10 frames that I harvested, 
Uh, we didn't damage them, we just took out the honey and I've already returned those to the hive. So those bees are already restoring those 10 frames. They'll have them, they'll have them perfectly clean and full with honey in just a few weeks. And it's important to know that I also left them um, a lot of honey for the winter. So they have tons, they have like almost 25 frames of their own honey. So they're gonna be good during the winter. And we did this when we first started beekeeping about three years ago. And so our first honey harvest was about uh, two years ago. And we messed up because we thought we knew what we were doing. And, and I found a mistake that we were making and I couldn't really find a good remedy on YouTube or on the internet. And that mistake that no one talks about, this is the one thing no one talks about on beekeeping, is when you're harvesting the honey, you know, you're getting your frames out and you gotta take them back to the house or wherever you're gonna get the honey off. No one talks about how to keep bees off of those frames all the way back into your kitchen or your garage or wherever you're going. So when we were doing this, we were, we were taking the frames and we were putting them in the back of the ranger one by one in a box, I think. And we were taking them back to the garage and bees were following us to the garage. And so when we realized that we had to, you know, shut the garage door, but by then it was too late. We ended up with so many bees helping us harvest this honey. And um, there was thousands of them dead in the honey itself. In the honey. So when we turned it and we're churning it, yeah. it's like bee legs. And yeah, we were just was, churning up bees. It and it was a disaster. It, we totally massacred thousands of bees, okay. which will probably thousand, maybe okay. several hundred. That's out of 30,000 in the hive. So it's not like we devastated the hive or anything, but, but it was gross. So this time, um, I couldn't find many resources on this, but as you saw at yeah, what we did yesterday, we had that tub, that clear tub, and we were kind of, she was manning the tub and I was taking frames out and uh, throwing the bees off of it. She would, she would get the brush and get any last bee and put it in there and immediately seal it. And then I'd go back for the next frame and immediately seal it. That kept the bees off of it pretty good. And when we got back to the driveway, I had the, the um, gasoline blower ready to go, like as a second line of defense. And what were, there was there's only, four, there's three. three bees in that whole bin. So I opened it up, we were able to get those bin out, those bees out um, with the blower. I thought there might be more. And then we moved to our third line of defense inside, opened it up again, and there was one bee that found this, that just clung on to his, uh, to his frame. And we were able just to just kind of just flick him off with his wings and got him right outside. So no bees were, were hurt in this entire process compared to last time. So and our honey is beautiful and yeah. clear. I wanted to show I wanted to show everybody. So here we go. So this is um, this is filtered from several different places, but this is that's our wax. So what we're going to do with this wax is we're going to melt this down and we're going to make um, some lip chapstick. chapstick. Um, we're going to make some candles. Um, so yeah, we're super super excited about what we could do with this wax once we melt it down. We're not going to do it today because I'm still, this is filtering. So yeah, show them what we got. So you can see how it's still dripping out the bottom a little bit under there. So we're trying to get as much as we can out of there into there. There it is. So that's our, that's our honey and it's really good double filtered honey. It's really sweet. It's really sweet. So that goes to here. So we got just just under half of five gallons. And um, that was, like I said, 10 frames. Um, do you wanna get a little jar? And we'll, yeah. We got at least, we're not gonna fill jars now. And we have these little bitty ones that Amber's not happy with. But I wanna do it just for the camera today. At least fill the first jar on camera. Well, I, um, I ordered these online and I really want the cute hexagon shaped ones, but this, they showed up and I thought they were at least four ounces in there too. They're like little baby guys. And yeah. then Granger told me this is too big. Yeah, I think so we're gonna get something coming in the morning that's in the middle. Watch this. Oh, you're gonna do it. Okay. That is, ladies and gentlemen, that is some serious gee gee honey. And close. 
Look at that. <laughs> okay. Over here. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, so the, the reason we're not gonna melt this down for you guys right now is because we're still dripping a little bit more. I wanna make sure that's totally drained. And then on another episode, um, I will, we'll pull this out. We're gonna make some candles and some, some lip balm. Pretty. It's so good. This is the first time we've harvested this year, so. And we have two hives. I only harvested one hive. So next year we'll do uh, both hives. I might even get in some more. Yeah. Um, and we'll have several buckets if that's the case. I wanted to talk about something else. Okay. Okay. Beekeeping. There seems to be, once again, I'm speaking to like a 1%, but there's, a, there's some snobby beekeepers out there, right? Like people that guard their hobby. And people have done it their whole life or they grew up with it, their granddad did it, or they do it for a living. And that's amazing. But there's, there's a snobby side of this hobby that gets to be like, <laughs> you're doing it wrong. Oh my, you messed up. Don't do it that way. You shouldn't do it. And you know what that does? That makes people not want to do it. It makes people not want to get into it because there's such a, you have to do it right or you shouldn't do it at all. And that's actually the opposite of the way I feel because when you, when you buy a nuke and you buy a hive, you buy bees, you buy a queen, whatever you're doing, that's reproducing from another beekeeper that created that hive for you. So um, essentially you're, you're, you're building a new hive that didn't exist and the world needs more hives. My point is bad beekeepers, at least if they're trying to learn and try to get better and learning from their mistakes, which is, that's how I always learn from my mistakes and I make a lot of mistakes, but bad beekeepers that are learning from their mistakes are better than no beekeepers at all because they're worried about messing up. True. So. I didn't know what I was doing last time and we completely messed up. And so it kind of made me reading everybody's comments and stuff saying how we were doing it so wrong, kind of made me scared to do it. But this time we had fun. I had yeah. fun doing it. And yeah. I, I think, you know, we, we learned from last time and we made changes and now it's awesome. Yeah. So just remember everybody, um, bad beekeeping, beginner beekeeping, amateur beekeeping, um, with the right, with the right motivation is better than no beekeeping at all. So encourage your friends. It's easier than you think to get into it. Don't worry about the haters. Um, yeah. So that's all I got to say about that. Okay. And you get away some yeah, I, we got to re re go, go back to, uh, revisit the video where I was going to give away the boots. Yes. That was the one where this Remy is what ate the centipede. Yeah, where Remy, the where Remy ate the centipede on the thumbnail. Um, these are the boots from they were there. Heroes documentary, a documentary I made last year. It's on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, I hope you get to watch it. We're going to give away the boots that I walked um, many, many miles in the desert in these boots. And then we decided to pick three winners. Three winners. <laughs> three winners. <laughs> Um, one for the boots and then I gave, I'm going to give away some hats. This is, this will be winner number two. This is a new, um, Yee Yee apparel hat we have that I've been wearing and I went ahead and Amber and I both signed the bottom. And this is an older Yee Yee apparel hat. This will go to winner number three. And this has, um, some, some of my sweat stains on it, but <laughs> it's been in my closet and I'm not wearing it. I figured I'd sign it and give it away in this group. So. Before I started recording, we had some trouble finding winners because we said, if you want to win, you need to be, you need to make a comment about who your hero is and subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed, subscribed to the Smiths. If I can't even say it, how are you supposed to do it? But um, we had trouble because- We ran into trouble because a few of the people that were that won are not subscribed to us, yeah. guys. So make sure you hit that notification button, yeah. subscribe, the button at the top, because now you don't get the boots. And it wasn't, we didn't just pick who wrote the best comment. It was random. No, it was random. We picked random names from a random generator. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Are we saying the names? Yeah, we'll say the names okay, and so then. The winner of the boots is Justin Wade. Justin Wade. So okay. He was the winner of the boots. And then we have the winner of the, I'll just do this. The winner of that deer hat is going to be on the number two dirt biker. Mm -hmm. And then the winner of the fishing hat is Jennifer Armstrong. Cool. 
So should we, should they message us or should we contact them? We'll co first of all, we'll comment below their comment okay, and so just say, hey, you win. Just to make, yeah, you gotta find them again. Just to make sure they see it. Okay. Um, and then we'll find you from there. Congratulations, guys. I hope you liked this episode. I hope you liked beekeeping. Um, oh, and I hope you have heard my new song. That's why I love dirt roads. Uh, at the time I'm filming this, it's not even out. By the time you see this video, it will be out. So um, we'll link that song in the description. I hope you like it. I hope you love dirt roads like me. And I hope you comment and tell me how you like this video. Thank you guys. Thank you guys, guys for watching. Bye. That's why I love dirt roads.